Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrolos here with a fun-looking double battles to kick off this Fan Fridays. I mean, this actually looks pretty nice. I'm wondering how the Gastrodon is going to combo out with the Venusaur. Um, yeah, I can't really figure that one out, but the rest of the team, you know, it looks like a pretty just fun battle from the Pokemon that are involved right there. Now, Gastrodon against the Charizard is going to be a favorable matchup, but Venusaur into the um, Greninja could be neutral. I mean, if Venusaur Mega Evolves and shows the thick fat, that's something right there. But the rest of this is going to be interesting, and the opponent Mega Evolving on that Charizard, potentially giving the Venusaur some speed if he doesn't Mega Evolve. All right, yeah, Venusaur saw that. Like, that's that's an interesting adaptation right there that just does work out. So the Greninja with the map lock, trying to stay safe on this first turn. Um, the Solar Beam from Charizard. If he goes for Heat Wave, that's going to be greedy right there. But yeah, there's the Solar Beam. Oh, uh, that's going to be very, very bad for the Gastrodon. So an interesting first turn right here. I mean, I, I like the adaption, though. By going with that Protect, that means Venusaur is going to have the outspeed on the next turn. Greninja is a fighting type, however. So we have to deal with that, and now Volcarona is going to come in. Okay, now here's where we might... I'm, I'm wondering, like, are we going to see some kind of combo? But no, Venusaur actually going to switch out. So free turn loss right there into the Gudra. And Smackdown. Now, I see maybe Gudra has, like, the Sap Sipper, and then it's supposed to be some kind of grass thing going on. And the Smackdown... Laying the smackdown onto the Volcarona. That Greninja carrying the shenanigans just in case. And the flamethrower going to return, but not be crazy. Well, under the sun, it's crazy damage, but not very effective. Not take out the wow, the double focus on Volcarona. The shutdown is real. I mean, and this is like reminiscent of like early XY. Like, you know, the first couple weeks of XY is just everyone had like Charizard Y Greninja, and it worked out so well. So the map lock's gonna fail. I don't think the opponent knows how that move works right i don't know that's weird right there but then there's the dragon pulse onto the gudra damage not going to be a lot and venusaur with the pedal blizzard so the gudra run back right here on that physical gudra is going to come through and at least we still have that chlorophyll so that will finish off the greninja almost nothing on the charizard that that just makes sense right there and now we get to see what gudra is going to be up to there's a rock slide but it is going to avoid all right plus one on the attack charizard is gone and we, we at least know that much. And Charizard doesn't have really the damage to do too much to the Gudra on that Assault Vest. And the Sleep Powder. Gudra Sap Sipper. No, you don't get the Sleep Powder. Sap Sipper applies for everything, even Rage Powder. And that is going to be Gudra with the Rock Slide. All right, so on that plus, how much are we going to see onto the Blossom? Because we already know Charizard's gone. Blossom tanks it up just a, a bit. And he also has that Chlorophyll going for him. And there's solar power on the Heliolisk as well. Now, there's not going to be too much more sun right here, but that's going to be a Moonblast onto the Gudra. Super effective hit. Does not matter. Assault Vest too tanky. There's the Thunder Wave. That is going to be landing on Gudra as well. Not fast, but you might want that shut down because he is going hard on those pluses. And Venusaur with the Petal Blizzard. That's going to be Sap Super Boost into just small, small amounts of damage on the Blossom. And if we get that Rock Slide off, that's going to be enough to finish off the Blossom. Oh, Gudra just got outraged though. Never mind. He just wants something gone, and that is going to be one KO'd Heliolisk. Heliolisk's not super tanky, but I'm wondering if the split damage on a neutral Rock Slide probably would have been enough after the plus two. And that's going to be the Blossom, and Blossom suddenly the last Pokemon for the opponent. Moonblast. Yeah, that is a futile, futile. I was, I, I'm trying to say like futile, but futile effort right there. And the Sludge Bomb is going to finish off on that super effective hit onto the Blossom. And suddenly, that is game after just devastating first couple of turns right there. Very interesting setup. Right? I was wondering, like, you know, if it was Mega Venusaur into, like, an Ice Beam from Greninja. But apparently the Smackdown was what it was carrying for that Volcarona. Smackdown actually works out pretty well. I don't see any ground-type, like, Earthquake stuff. Like, you smack down a Levitate into an Earthquake, like a Rotom. That would be pretty disgusting. But the, the damage on that Smackdown, also pretty nice. I mean, after you consider the split damage after Rock Slide... Interesting little tech. The opponent started running away with the battle and then suddenly just Gudra into that combo with the Venusaur. Sap Super OP. Gudra so tanky. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and get ready for some more Fan Fridays.